hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this elegant logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 30 seconds, and background color is white color. And simply hit OK. Go to choose grid and guide option and hit on Titus Affection like this. And now we will go to the shape options and we will choose one ellipse. I don't want any fill, so I'll delete this fill like this and in the stroke i'm going to choose this type of color but make sure to choose blue version of it and select this kind of color and simply hit ok and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse now select this shape layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this and stroke width let's increase somewhere around like this press s for scaling option and scale it like this let's increase this stroke like this let's zoom in and make sure select this make sure it will touch at the center like this okay now select the shape layer hit ctrl d and let's hide not hide but we will change the color of this one to this one and let's decrease this stroke width press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this or instead of duplicating this one let's delete this first we will focus on this one so now let's go inside the content we will go to the add and we will choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this zero initially create one keyframe hit u so we can see those keyframe go to around two second and let's make this 100 so if you see this animation we will get something like this now let's go inside the stream path again go few frame forwards and at this point i am going to create one keyframe at the start go to around three second and let's make this 100 now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here so if you hit play we will get this kind of animation okay now let's go to the ellipse then go to the stroke and we will choose round cap so we'll get something like this and stroke width we now it is 620 i'm going to create one keyframe over here and let's make this zero and hit u and around at this point i'm going to make it 620 like this and at this point i'm going to make it zero again so if you see this animation now we will get something like this now select those keyframe and hit f9 so we will get one is in is out effect also like this now we will go at this keyframe we will select this shape layer we will hit ctrl d press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this hit u and let's decrease the stroke width of it like this and we need to cover it like this okay now select this shape layer hit ctrl d again press u and let's press s first of all we will increase the size then hit u and make sure that you are at this keyframe and let's in decrease the size of the stroke width like we need to cover this select this shape layer hit ctrl d press s and let's increase it so it will cover this portion also so now if you see this animation we will get something like this okay uh, now what we need to do we need to select this one and we need to bring this at the top then we need to select this one we will bring this over here select this one and we will bring this over here now select this first layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and simply double click and apply and let's increase the distance to 50 increase the softness to 100 opacity i'm going to choose 200 i mean 20 or oh, and let's increase the softness to 200 like this and for the color i'm going to choose somewhere around like this color okay so now if you see we will get something like this now select this drop shadow effect hit ctrl c to copy select all those keyframe and hit ctrl v so if you see this animation we will get something like this 
now select all of them and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as stroke 1 and hit ok hit ctrl d to duplicate it uh, hit ctrl 0 to open the project window we have the stroke 1 over here hit ctrl d by holding alt let's replace it over here sorry for the spell mistake now double click to open this comp hit u let's go over here now we will select all of them and at this point i'm going to choose the stroke width of each and every one to 100 for this one is also 100 for this one also 100 and for this one also 100 like this and if you want then you can decrease it the way you want like this and like this so if we go to the main animation we will get these two types of animations okay so this is much as easy now let's go inside this stroke one now go to around 10 sec frames select this one move this over here go to 20 frames select this one move this over here go to one seconds let's move this over here so we will get this kind of animation also go to the stroke one hit you go to 10 frames select this one move this over here or you can choose vice versa select this one and move this over here 20 frames select this one move this over here select and move this over here now if we go to the main animation we will get this kind of animations now if you want you can go inside the stroke you can select all of them and you can choose either white version of it so let's see what we have we will get this kind of stuff okay now let's go inside the stroke one right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press r for rotation create one keyframe go to around three seconds uh, or let's say four seconds uh, and let's make this 180 so we will get rotating animations also for this or you can simply type 360 so we will get complete one rotation now select this null one hit ctrl c to copy go to the stroke 2 hit ctrl v hit u go to the last keyframe of this one and instead of one i am going to type minus one and now go to the start select all of them and then make it apparent with this null one so if you go to the main animation now we will get this kind of animation like this or instead i think we need to make this one only because this looks quite weird so let's see okay okay so we will get this kind of stuff but uh, the interesting thing you can do with it you can select this stroke to press s unlink this and you can make this minus 100 also so we will get different structure like this now with you let's hide this two things for now now select this paint tool i am going to create select this blue color like this and hit ok let's create one stroke like this out of this composition and stroke width i am going to choose 5 like this you can select this press ctrl alt home and i think instead of 5 let's choose 1 like this then go to the add menu i am going to choose repeater select this repeater and increase the copies like this go to the transform repeater 1 let's choose 10 and let's increase the copies like this okay now select this stroke 2 hit ctrl d to duplicate it bring this at the top select this shape layer and make it apparent with this stroke and now we will select the stroke press p for position and let's move this over here like this so as you can see we are getting this alternations but what we can do we can select this and we will bring this over here and we will bring this downwards of this one or you can simply bring downward of this one also like this so if you see this animation now we will get something like this now press v select the shape layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's unlink this alpha track and over here i am going to choose a little bit darker version of it now as you can see he over here stroke 2 is the mark now we will select stroke 1 to hit ctrl d let's bring this over here select the shape layer and i'm going to choose alpha mat now let's bring this at the top so we will get something like this you can select the stroke press p and you can move the position over here you can select this and bring this totally up to back 
and you can change the position of this one to this one so now if you see we are getting this kind of animations hit you like this <coughs> now press sorry press ctrl i to open your logo i'm going to select this logo and simply hit import and i'll bring this over here press s for scaling option and scale it like this i'll move this over here like this now i'll bring my logo over here so this things is gonna be on the top of it or you can simply bring this over here or over here also now at this point i am going to select this logo and i'll move this over here so it will appear from here only like this now i'm going to select this logo i'm going to apply fill color on it so and i'm going to choose white color only sorry a uh, white color and i'm going to apply drop shadow effect on it double click to apply <coughs> and distance i'm going to choose 20 or even more than that and softness i'm going to choose 200 like this or even more than that and let's increase the distance somewhere around like this and choose 20 and for the stroke color i'm going to choose this kind of color like this now select this drop shadow hit ctrl d to duplicate it and we will change the angle of this one to this one somewhere around like this and distance i'm going to choose 20 like this or even 10 and opacity for this one i'm going to choose 10 now select this as you can see we have one drop shadow over here if you want then you can increase the distance to totally up to 300 also and now we will create go to the start we will create one keyframe at the direction of this drop shadow with you let's go a few frame forwards and go to around 8 second and we will move this direction from here to here so if you see this complete animation now we will get this kind of animation and also we will get this animation for the drop shadow also like this and if you want then you can change it completely like this let's choose the half resolution and let's see like this so we will get this kind of animation now hit you right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for cc lens effect on it and double click to apply and i'm going to increase the size somewhere around over here like this let's go to the start and we'll get something like this now right click new and create one null object select all of them except this adjustment layer and make it apparent with this null tool select this null tool go to the start press s create one keyframe and go to around 8 to 10 second and let's make this 110 or let's say 120 so it will increase the size of it gradually so now choose quarter resolutions and let's see whether the scaling animation is working or not yeah it's quite working so we will get this kind of animation okay so this is how you can create this kind of logo reveals so that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then, stay tuned.